welcome. Welcome to Pink Lady Presents, a show filled with lives that are well lived. And you know what? These people that we have on our show come from everywhere, all ages, all ethnicities, and all walks of life. And today, well, <laughs> today I am looking at a very delightful looking gentleman, Mr. Tony Selvage. Hello and welcome. Thank welcome you. to Pink Lady Present. You are a renowned violinist and a master of healing music for over 50 years, am I right? More than that, I started when I was three. And my mother used to give me a penny a minute to, to rub her back. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's a good thing. So, Time to work, work your fingers there to, to, to play and everything. Yeah, there, uh, there are five instruments that heal the body. Wood, clay, metal, skin, and strings. Strings go right to the heart. So oh. combinations of those five instruments will heal different parts of your body. Wow. We're going to learn a lot about healing the body and the mind and the soul today. Yes. Uh, you began your musical journey then at three. Yes. And then at ten, you went to the Cornish School of Music in Seattle. In Seattle. Yes. Now, how was that? I mean, I know that it was a great experience, I'm sure, but you were young. I mean, how did that affect school and everything? Uh, I won talent contests. I had cute girlfriends. <laughs> I had to wear short pants <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but um, yeah, that's, I lived in Humphrey Bogart's house until I was 10 under the Hollywoodland sign. Oh, I went really? to Cherimoya School and started the violin there at three. <gasps> wow. So yeah. you really started young. Yeah, yeah. Now, but now your mother and dad were really entertainers because your mother was a singer and an actress. Yes. Uh, Enid Zamboni? Yes, Anna Gail Zamboni. Wow. And yeah. your dad was a trumpet. Yes, Morris, Mor Morris Coffin, Coffin Selvage. Selvage. Yes, yeah, Selvage. He Selvage. was Selvage. I, okay. I made it more musical. Uh, uh, it okay. means wild man of the woods, forest dweller, and the finished edge. So There's you got your music talent, really, from your parents. And my stepfather, who uh, I wasn't legally adopted, but he came into the picture when I was around four. Uh -huh. And he played the drums and had an orchestra oh, wow. up in Seattle. And he was from a Jewish side of the family and my mother was Catholic of course but she was Christian science basically. Okay, okay. George Zamboni was my grandfather. He was Catholic and then my grandmother was Mormon and my mother was Christian science and wow. my father was uh, Jewish so I was by mitzvah <laughs> I and it. graduated into Judaism oh, my to goodness. get close, closer to him but they didn't get married in the 30s. Okay. She, she married her original sweetheart Ted Sternoff oh, from that's Seattle. That's a lovely story. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. now, what you do, Tony, and I have to explain this to the audience because you're going to explain it, actually. You channel the human mind, body, and soul to heal and harmonize an actualization with them. Explain that to our people. It's basically very simple. I learn classical music. And then I always would add or subtract notes, and I'd get my 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 teachers upset. <laughs> I was <laughs> so I just let go and let, let God, and just let my fingers just just take off. I have wow. I have the sound. Um, I have a good sound on the right. violin, and then I use that spontaneity it's I call it cosmic because it comes from God yes classical because I've had the training and jazz because it's improvisational love that it's love when that. I do the Sally Kirkland show on, right. on Monday yes. uh, on a Monday morning live healthy www.healthylife.net good I turn on Turner classic movies and turn the sound off and I score the film or I watch my hummingbirds outside. oh my I love, so everything I love just that. comes spontaneous right right well I you seem like a very spontaneous and today's gentleman. a heavy day so you're gonna get a little bit of 9-11 <laughs> I love it because I was still. I was flying during that time really yeah, yeah most of us re really remember where we were during that day um, where did the idea come from to customize your electric violin viola into an instrument with pedal boards. I mean, hello. Yeah, well, Tell us I, about I that. I started with an echoplex, and I would put down a minute or a two-minute or a three-minute tape in that echoplex, and then I would push the button, never knowing when it's going to come in, but I would spontaneously catch the music that I just played and do a duet with myself. 
Then I got into more sophisticated pedals wow. through the Boss pedals and, and things like that. I'm still learning how to use them. <laughs> it's all experimentation. And my, my production company is called Ba Ka Da. Ba oh, and Ka come from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. It means the outer soul spirit universe, the inner soul spirit universe. And the Da is the now, like this is the now. Okay. This is the now right here. Right, we're this doing. This is the center of all things. And that's I just let go and let God in the now. Now, when did you first find yourself into this particular universe of yours? I when mean, really. I was told to play other people's music. It, I, I love Bach and Brahms right. and Beethoven, Stravinsky, Gurdjieff, you know, I mean, love all, those, all right? these. I love them myself, yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, Bela Lewitsky, um, Irina Kosmoski. I did ballet themes for, for the different dancers and... Um, um, I just, just got into I it. I paint what I see with music. Okay. Well, in other that's words, if I score I like a film, I watch the film like it's the first time I met the film, and either my band, I did that for MGM called The Clay Pigeon, and it was a fighting scene right. at the Hollywood Bowl with Yogi Bhajan, Ram Das, well, no, Yogi Bhajan, um, uh, a bunch of other actors, and it was a, a, the killing scene, and, and I, we did that in one take. At wow. MGM. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to interject something because I don't want to forget it. You were also up for an award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to forget that about the spoken word. It was under the spoken word. We had a, a rapper, Andrew Siku, Siku uh, Andrews, um, a black guy that came up with this amazing rap. I belong to this um, organization called Composers Breakfast Club. We meet at Soho. Oh, okay. Um, yes, um, my, my, my um, yeah. So and we have a thing called Harmony for Harmony, and we melt down harmony guns. Harmony for Harmony. Yeah. Okay. Armory for Harmony. Okay. So we're, we're doing, uh, melting down guns and making trumpets. Oh, Armory. Yeah. I get it. Sorry. Yeah. Armory for Harmony. Yes. Wow. So what are you doing? You're melting? Well, we're melting down um, guns and turning them into instruments and donating them to uh, schools and stuff. You say, I just let it go and tune deeply into what the person needs. So, oh, that's when I do live tapes, music okay. to listen to yourself by. Um, I just have a conversation like we are. Okay. And within 10, 15 minutes, I feel the person's... I know who the person is, right. and knowing them is finding out where, where they're at with what I already know. Uh, is that explainable? I don't no, know. no, I, I get it. So, yeah. so I, just, I can I do just, that with him, too. And wow. I, and I just <laughs> let go, and I play them, or a couple. I think that is... You served in the Navy in Vietnam. Yeah. I thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, we all thank you for your service. Yeah. What did you do in the Navy, Tony? Uh, as little as I possibly could. <laughs> I know. I get I that I graduated from, a lot of from military school, and they wanted me to put me in West Point. Oh. And I've had it with guns, and I wrote a poem about guns, guns that contaminated hole through space. I just oh. didn't like the guns marching. Right. I wore white socks. I got in trouble with everybody because <laughs> the black socks were making my feet, you know, <laughs> deteriorate. Oh, my God. Now, how but old were you when you were in military school? 23. Oh, uh, military school. I was, I, I was there as a junior and uh, senior okay. in part college. Wow. New Mexico Military Institute oh, wow. in Roswell. Wow. But now did you play your music there? So I didn't want to join this, the Army or anything like that, and I didn't want to go gun ho and do the Marines. Right. But I liked the navies, the <gasps> Navy uniforms. <laughs> and, and I, you know. So you did not. So, I, you, so you I joined played? the Naval Air Force. But ah. I couldn't fly because I wanted to fly jets, but I, right. I failed the red lens test. <gasps> oh. And I took it twice, and oh. I failed the. The, I failed the physical and passed the mental. I thought it was going to be the other way around. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But I used to get migraine headaches loading <gasps> bombs, and I had a general quarters. The fog foam 3 is oh. that yellow stuff that they put on the planes that have caught fire. Wow. Now, did you also play music in the service? Never. 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 Wow, that Never. is different. You know, yeah, I quit for 14 years. Woo. 
That's a long time to be away from music. Yeah. A long time. Well, I wasn't away from it. I mean, I was playing percussion and okay. I pl got to play baseball and <laughs> basketball and football. And oh, well, that's, that's interesting. We will be right back. It's about the humans. These humans, those humans, grooving and golden. It's about getting more than health insurance and a partner who listens and acts. Humana calls it human care. It's talking to a doctor from your couch or helping you find a cheaper prescription before you ask. It's helping you fix the rugs so you don't fall and keeping you social, online or off. It's getting to know you so you can be your healthiest. That's our superpower. That's human care from Humana. I mean, you, you, your life is just musical. I mean, I, I just love it. Now, you are also with many legends and you yourself is a legend, Quincy Jones. Uh, Pete Seeger, Ella Fitzgerald, Amy Lou Harris. I mean, the people that you've played with and I, I think is phenomenal. You also um, did some scoring of a lot of films and TV movies, am I correct? I was part of it, yeah. Okay. And you won, here we go, and we're going to stop. You won a contest. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, what? Oh. And we're going to show you a video of our dear friend Tony Selvage winning a contest. I didn't win the gong show. Oh, I thought you won this. No, I, uh, Steve Martin gave me a 10, uh, J.P. Morgan, right. she gave me a 9, and so did that other little guy. Right. So I didn't win. No, uh, uh, this uh, uh, um, um, what black they chick with it? a wig on won the contest that day with rock and roll music. Oh, but you did it great that day, though. Oh, okay. I, got, I did as good as I possibly could. Great. So we're going to watch this now. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Salvat. <laughs> Tony, how do you think of Tony Salvage? I, 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 I think it's amazing. I, 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 very innovative, very creative. Nine. A nine, a nine. Nice score. J.P. Morgan. I like him, too. I'd like to eat his hat. Yes, it is, it's a cute hat. And another nine. Stephen Martin. Had to give him a ten on originality and talent. <laughs> That's a ten. That gives you a total of 28 points. Thank you, Tony. Wow. So, you didn't win it, but you were very close. You were very close. I, my heart was into it. I know, I know. Steve Martin really, he adored you. Adored you. He thought, I mean, really and truly. I mean, he was not joking or anything, but you played, as, as the audience just saw, yeah. just wonderful. Now, you did something that I'm so proud of, and I think many of us out there thank you so much for it. You used a... It was used for a research tool since 1986, uh, and you gave it to the National Institute for Mental Health. Yes. You donated an album, and the album was called Harmonic Dream Team? Time. Time or team? Well, uh, time. Time. And the Whole Life Expo produced right. that. So tell us about that. Um, I... My ex-wife, um, who just passed in March of 18, oh, my, my younger two, younger Layla, who you met yes. over the phone, and Ariel, she's on SoundCloud. 
My granddaughter's uh, Grace is on uh, Spotify. Oh my she God. sings. Love anyway, uh, that that came about. Uh, I went blank for a second. Uh, I'm on a, I wanted to know how you donated it and and what it what how it helped the veterans. Well, it was chosen by the World Peace Organization wow. uh, to download to give the veterans. Um, you know, they bring home a lot of stress yes. and everything, and yes. it upsets the family, and, and they hard to sleep. So I came out with this, also a sleep tape for me to Well, I, we have Astera, uh, a little bit Astria, of that. Astria, that means a star. Astria. So I, I'd like you, audience, to hear it uh, as we sit over here, just a little to get the idea of what Tony has done. So this is Ast Ast Astria. David Astria. Storrs was the keyboard player. He was a physicist and worked for Disney. Wow. Let's hear it. Wow, I had already heard it, but it's fabulous. And the audience, I know. Now, where can they get some of your CDs? On my, on my website, TonySelvage.com. Want to say, repeat that again? T-O-N-Y-S-E-L-V-A-G-E.com. That's going to be in the bottom here so everyone can see yeah. it. And then if you want to hear my music at any time, you can sc scroll my name down to past shows the Sally Kirkland show. I've been playing for the movement of spiritual and awareness since oh, wow. 1972. Right. Sally introduced me to Lee Taylor Young, who I dated and got oh. into the uh, <laughs> movement of spiritual and awareness. And I do her show, www.healthylife.net. Every? I do it once a month. I love but you it. can scroll in there okay. and scan my name for and previous shows. And get the dates and everything. Well, I, play, I do a 20 minute piece and then three eight minute pieces in that hour. You are something else. I mean, you've recorded, uh, I know you did uh, Layla's Lullaby. Oh, yes. And that, that I heard, and that sounds And beautiful. Ariel's Lullaby. And Ariel. So you can get it, uh, everyone, and, and it's really, they're just beautiful. And they're so Thank different, you. each yeah. and every one of them. Uh, Tony, you said, and I love this, let's fiddle around with the world until it gets better. Yeah, that's my motto. I'm what a musical warrior. That? What do you mean by that? I'd love to play for Congress, the Senate, the House, before they make all the rules. Okay. I mean, okay. can you believe what Texas is doing with women? With everything. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I it's, mean, it's crazy. So it, We need common yes, sense. Right. And with your music, with your music. It'll, it's music to listen to yourself by. There you go. And I think five minutes of music before any meeting, I did that for Senator Diane Watson for her heavy busing. Wow. Debates, and it was one of the best meetings she ever had. I played for Tom Hayden when I met um, Jane Fonda. They were living on Wadsworth in Venice when I when I knew Tom, and you, then Jerry Brown. I played for him. You know, you're a man for all seasons <laughs> and all the right reasons. Well, and and because I think you give of yourself. And now, everyone, 
everyone, I think that we are ready to hear, but not only hear, to feel yeah. your inner musical talent to heal the soul and our minds. And we are ready, Tony. My dear audience, Tony Selvage, <laughs> in just a few moments, Thank you. you will be in another world, a safe, beautiful one. We'll be right back. At one time or another, every family is faced with mobility issues for a loved one. Call Before You Fall is here for you with all the safety and mobility solutions your family needs. Come see Alex in the Call Before You Fall showroom, or if you can't, they'll come to you in one of their fully stocked service vans. So put your mind at ease today. Call Alex at 1-800-829-1491. Remember, be on the safe side.